Hiya friends, Prepared Suburbanite back with you. Well, um, I have been uh, busy working on my uh, uh, first commercial product for uh, my uh, wooden flag replicas. Um, as I said in the previous video, that I had uh, uh, a local contractor, friend of mine, come by and do some work on a house and he saw the wooden replica flags that I had done and was uh, thrilled. He said, boy, can I get a couple of them? So I started a few days ago and I showed you that video before, uh, showed you that um, um, video. And um, since then, I have gotten a couple done and he called back and said he wanted three instead of two. So I had to run out and get some more uh, uh, material and things like that for uh, that extra piece of uh, work that we had to do there. And uh, um, so here's where I am so far. I've gotten one glued up. It's all been burned and uh, ready to go. I still have to apply the border and apply the stencil for the 1776 um, Betsy Ross style um, union that I'm going to put on them because that's what he wanted. And I've got the second one now all glued up and ready to go. Uh, I'm going to let it dry overnight and uh, that'll be ready for border and stenciling uh, tomorrow. And I've got the third one uh, sort of ready to go. I've got the uh, slats cut or the, the stripes cut and uh, I've got them uh, uh, burned uh, a little bit to uh, come into play. And I'll be working on that third one tomorrow and starting to put the stencils and the borders on and all that. But so that's the uh, update for the flag build that I uh, just recently contracted to do. And I, I'm just kind of hoping that uh, this turns out to be a fairly lucrative little side business because you can make a couple of bucks doing that. But the other thing that I wanted to talk about in this video is <laughs> very simply um, what's going on in the political arena right now. And this is amazing. Um, I think we've all heard that Kamala Harris uh, wants to give first-time homeowners $25,000. And I saw a very interesting article uh, that I'm going to share with you right after this. So here's the deal. Uh, Kamala Harris wants to give first-time homeowners $25,000, but there's a catch. So let me read uh, from uh, this article by Shay Bottomley that appeared on Woke Spy just recently. And I happened to stumble on this in my uh, <laughs> ever quest to find out what's going on in the world. But here's uh, what they say. Vice President Kamala Harris wants to give first time homeowners $25,000 for a down payment plus $400 a month towards their mortgage payments. But there's a catch. Of course there's a catch. Eligible candidates must be first generation to their family to buy a home to secure the $25,000 grant. In addition, a certain tranche of folks will receive $400 a month to help pay their mortgage cost. Immediately, there's a problem. If you're looking for somewhere which will be covered 
by the payments, then you must search hard for a property that is worth no more than $92,000. That's right, $92,000 for a house. I'm not sure where that's going to be, but uh, folks have been uh, commenting on this. Uh, you can see Mark Lampritz's uh, um, um, comment here on Twitter, uh, X, I guess, with a monthly mortgage payment of $400, a 30-year loan at 6%, and a $25,000 down payment gets you a maximum house price, price of $91,717. I'm not sure how we got that figure, but uh, $92,000. The house has to be less than $92,000. Obviously, the math assumes that the person in question is unemployed, but even if a poor person was able to come up with the $400 a month to put towards the mortgage, the maximum home price they'd be able to afford is far below the national average. Alas, it has raised questions over whether the policy actually promotes equality or favors one group over another, and what kind of loopholes may exist. As you can see, this is geared towards a minority section of our population. It does raise this question as to whether Harris is, is seeking to buy votes through valid or wild idealistic policies rather than focusing on purposeful economic actions. Mr. Reagan, a very uh, influential um, YouTube commenter said, so they're just openly buying votes now. And what I've seen is a uh, historical pattern here with the Harris administration is that they uh, uh, are using our money to bribe us, the voters, to vote for them. So they're going to reallocate certain amounts for this purpose or for that purpose, and uh, it's up to you to figure out if that's really a good thing. I've seen all kinds of nonsense going on inside the Harris policy, pro, uh, the Harris policy uh, outcomes that are saying, oh, we can do this for you, we can do that for you. Uh, a couple of them, they stole directly from the Trump campaign, like uh, no tax on tips and uh, no tax on Social Security. But they're trying to buy votes by using taxpayer money to entice voters to vote for them. Yeah, she wants to decrease the amount of uh, taxes that the middle class pays and make sure that the rich pays their fair share. Well, if the rich is um, not paying their fair share, they need to define exactly what that fair share really, really, and truly is because the... <laughs> Um, yeah, there's numbers all over the board about what's the right number and what's fair and what's not fair. Corporate taxes and individual income taxes. Well, Trump wants to do away with the whole income tax thing and go back to what we did with tariffs back in the uh, uh, 1800s. And that's the, uh, um, it, it, there's some logic there. I'm not sure that it's going to be all that popular with folks because they have been indoctrinated by the Harris campaign saying this is nothing but an additional sales tax that's going to cost you money, but they're only looking at step one. They aren't looking at the 
full total impact of what tariffs can do. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't done all the research that I should do on the Trump uh, eliminating the IRS and eliminating income taxes, but I sure would welcome um, any thoughts that you may have. I'd love to not pay income taxes, but what's the alternative to fund the government? We have to cut the cost. That's the bottom line. If we don't cut the cost of running this government, eliminate redundant uh, uh, deep state entities, we're going to be up against the continuing battle of inflationary budgets, printing money, uh, you name it. But that's kind of where I am with it. Love to hear your thoughts on this. Hope you're having a great week. This is the Prepared Suburbanite reminding you to be prepared always. And what's coming, we need to be prepared for. If Donald Trump wins, you better buckle down and make sure you're going to last through the turmoil that's coming. I'll see you all on the next video.